it comes right off. Nice. And then this one here, these are kind of complicated. Uh, in order to get it on the seat. I, 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 I was going to notice it first a little bit, but I'm good now. Yeah, good, good, good. Because we're going to put this one on and tighten it up here in just a second. These are like little jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, those look like chains. Yeah, Nice chain puzzle. Yeah. I was telling Brandon about um, the trick you showed us with the tin foil and the ketchup. Yeah. We're getting the rust off. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Yeah. They had this really old bike last time, Rick, oh, yeah. that an old teacher had had, and it was from, did you say World War II? Just prior to World War II. Yeah. It was my guess by the componentry. It had been was in on like it. some garage or shed, and they dug it out. And yeah. Start over at the same angle you were at before. You've done this before, huh? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. Good job. I'm just going to tighten this side, make sure we got this side tight too. <laughs> What kind of do you like those kind of handlebars, Brandon? Or you like the other kind? Everybody loves bubble wrap. <laughs> that and stickers. The sound is he telling you to listen? Yeah. Can you hear it right now? It's the difference? It's getting better now. Mm -hmm. That's a cool trick. <laughs> and these reflectors are so people can see it from the side. So that's the that green line that goes into a blue tool. Grab that blue tool. Righty-tighty-lefty-loosey down pretty good. <laughs> All right. 
I'm just going to oh, set that back in that little box. Okay. Those two are kind of delicate and expensive, so yeah, it's yeah. got its own little spot. The pump. All right, now we're going to put this on the front. Front, yeah. Put it in there, but you see the tread on the back? Bolts them up now. See these little ramps right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are for rolling. So it rolls yeah. oh, forward, oh, 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 and then the ones in the grips. back are sharper. Yeah. So that's for breaking. Did you see what he was talking about, Brandon? No. These little ramps the the here. The grip, grips with the yeah. other that use yeah. right? Uh, no, you just um, oh, pull this to the side. In the mountain oh. place, you know, the yeah. wheel. There. That should go right up. Oh, you got to get the brake done. There. Maybe? Yeah, something like that. Now, you might have to loosen them just a little bit. Screw that side in. Yep. Yep. And then you put the wrench on and tighten it up. Uh, yeah, well, ratchets are kind of nice because they'll only do the wrench one direction. Actually, you know what? That's backwards. So yep. I go in the other way. Uh, yeah, it's just a wrench. Go the other way. Yeah. All right. All right. And then do the other side. Brandon, do you want to try the other side? You want to try this side? Oops. Mm -mm. Brandon, do you want to give it a shot? Yes. Hey, Rick, do you want to let him try this one? Nicely done, though, right? Thanks. Yeah, now go the other way. The brake pads. Yeah. And we got to make sure that I got that good and tight. Mm -hmm. Then we'll fish this back through here. And uh, it, it does look kind of. I'm missing one, one more piece of uh, puzzle, puzzle pub. Oh, the fun way to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So that kind of sits off to the side and it kind of. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. So, Brandon, if you want to take these. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And just squeeze them. Good yeah. job, Brandon. Good job, Brandon. Excellent. And then these. Yep. Right here. And you always have to watch the tool when you have it around a bicycle. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to scratch the bicycle. Oh, you don't want to. Uh, no. Is that it? So now the cable needs a little tip on the end of it. There's a hole in it. Slides on. And you have to clip it. Then we tuck it in. See how much nicer that looks down in there instead yep. of way over yeah. here? Yep. Now you hear that noise? See how that tire doesn't Ooh. move real easy? Yeah. Smooth. But now it does. Yeah. So what's happening is this arm doesn't move as much as this one. Yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, this is an adjustment screw. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take this Maybe screw two. and we're going to Please. loosen it so that's left or counterclockwise. Squeeze it. See how they're both moving now? Now spin it. No noise. No. Perfect. Alright, so we're all set there. Nice. And we're going to put the pedals on. If you could take the pedals out of the bag for me. Yeah, I told you you'd learn stuff. Oh. On that side. That kind of goes like that. So this is the rear brake. The rear is always on the right. And that will go on there in just a minute, yeah. but it can't right now because this top cap has to come off. So that's a little cover right there. And what do we do with our part? Well, you, here? you guys don't remember this, but we're here. No, but I always take a bin, and I put the parts in a bin. 
The reason is, is you can look in the bin, you can say, okay, I got parts in there. But if you put it on here and the part gets knocked over, you don't know that you haven't put a part on. Oh, yeah. So it's just a way to make sure that everything gets taken care of. Process. Doing everything the same way every time gets the same result. Yeah. Um, I'll repeat. Same, same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this, you'll notice, I've got my hand underneath it. And that's because if I didn't have my hand underneath it, the fork could skill. just drop right out the bottom. Right. Like that. See how it could fall right out? Oh, yeah. And then everything's on the floor. So then slide that right over the top. You know what I'm going to do? Can you just pop that off for a second? And can you just hold the bottom of that fork up? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil on this so that it doesn't get rusty. <laughs> Great. Now you can slide that over the top. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. You just wiggle it a little bit this way. Watch your head. There you go. Oh no, it'll go down. And then we need to put this on so it holds it up in there. Yeah, this is called a three-way Allen wrench. See how it's got three different sizes? Looks like a little guy going, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I see how that moves. So it's a little too tight. See how that comes back by itself a little bit? Ah. That's about perfect right there. Right. Okay. And we just kind of eyeball it, make sure it looks straight. And when we put it back on the ground, I'll make sure that this is straight. But for now, I just want to make sure it's tight. I use three wheelers a lot, <laughs> especially in the winter time because you don't have to balance them. Yeah. But I carry stuff back and forth to work on my three wheeler, like my lunch and my dog and oh, yeah. nice. whatever else I'm bringing. All right, you want to pull the skin out so that you're off to the side. Skin. So you can tighten that if you want, Brandon. Oh, oh. Screw this way up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This way up. Yeah, and you're gonna, yep, and you gotta put some weight on it. So you gotta hold it down. Go. Keep going. Yeah, it takes a while. It's gonna be five or six turns. No, oh, that's pretty good. That's got yep. it. Yep, nice. Look at that. Excellent. And I'm gonna put that right back where it goes.